from splitting to trimming to cutting to adding effects adding transitions adding music adding voiceovers these are the things you will learn from this video and right here we'll be using cap cuts which is which i believe it's very easy and very beginner friendly so do not worry do not fret because this is going to be very straightforward promise me and promise yourself that you are not just going to watch this video you are going to practice it and you know you're going to make a video out of it so without further ado let's dive right into the video so the first thing we're going to do is you have to import your video just like this trimming is basically removing the unwanted parts from your video and this mostly occurs at the extreme end of your video clip whether at the beginning of the video or the end of the video clip and how do you do this all you need to do is to drag your video inward drag the side of your video inward if you are starting at the beginning all you need to do is drag it inward and if what you want to remove is at the end of the video clip all you need to do is to go to the end of the video clip and also drag it inward this way you have trimmed your video and it actually shortens the length of your video trimming is very important in video editing and you need to get it right so the next thing we'll be doing is splitting for splitting sp splitting basically means dividing your video into section for example we have just one video clip so if there is anything you want to do if there is any part you want to click take this little vertical line to where you want to split and just click on split that is it you can split your video into different sections you can have as many splits as you want and between splits you can make transitions which will make your video more better more cinematic and all and also within each split you can trim each split like for example this clip right here you can trim it inward and the other clip you can trim it inward and so on and so forth now the rest of the tutorial will be on the phone now let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is you have to import your video just like this so from importing your video i'll be using the using the same method i used on the computer i'll be dragging this video clip until it gets to where i actually want this video to start so i'm starting from the first part the beginning and i'll be going in at the end of the video too i'll drag it into it gets to where i actually want the video to end and that is what trimming is just all about now i have my perfect beginning of the video and the end of the video cutting means deleting a clip from your video it can be in the beginning at the end or in the middle unlike trimming which is just at the extreme end cutting can be anywhere and you do this after splitting your video so after you split your videos into section if there is any part you want to delete just select the old clip that you want to delete and click delete that is cutting next up adding text click the text icon and you can drag your straight line to where you want the text to start from after that click add text button and start typing when you are done typing you can use the text box to reposition or resize your text and we have varieties of options we have the text fonts where you can select your writing styles we have the text styles you can select text colors you can select how you want it to look you have the text effect text animation and so much more there is also text template that is pre-made and you can just select any one out of it after selecting the one that you want edit the text out and you have your writing up next caption click auto caption icon select spoken language for me i'll pick english and click on generate button wait for it till it gets to 100 and you have your caption 
I'll be using this video as an example for you. So this whole video, this is where we're going to cut, we're going to trim, we're going to add music. And there you have your caption. Up next, effects. Effect is a very important technique in video editing that helps you to enhance your visual quality. There is blur, zoom lens, shake, ripple effect, and so much more. Just click on the effect icon and the video effect icon and select anyone that you want. They also have the body effect that also improves your visual quality. So just play around with it and you're going to love it. Overlay is just another editing tool that you use to improve your visual quality. In some editing software, you're going to see PIP, which is PIP, picture in picture effect. It is more like adding another picture on already existing elements or background. And you can use this if you want to change your background. And this is also mostly used by people who make reaction videos. To use overlay, click on overlay icon and select add overlay button. Voice over simply means adding a voice to an already made video. What you've been listening to is a voice over I made for this video, narrating how I edit my videos. And how can this be done? Select audio, select record and click on this center, this microphone record your voice and after recording your voice here you go you have your voice over you can also try it multiple times record delete record delete so you actually get what you want next up is adding music to your video CapCut has varieties of music but for this video i'll be using the songs i downloaded and i know they are free to use so add a song listen to the song and add it to your video Most of the time, sometimes the song can be longer, as you can see, than your actual video. Click on the song, just like this, this white line will come up and select split. And your song length is the same as your video length. If you want to cut it further, if you want it to start from maybe the middle, you can also cut, then adjust it, drag it so it gets to the middle of your video sometimes the music volume can be louder than your actual video volume select the music select volume and reduce it as you wish video as an example for you so this whole video this is where we're going to you can also add sound effect the same way you add music like typing effect sharing an applause effect taking a photo effect and so on and lastly you can also add filters to your video this is also very basic when it comes to video editing for some people that they don't know how to do color grading yet instead of adjusting your video and spoiling the temperature the saturation and all those things you can just select a filter that will work for your video and that is it and that will be all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.